Okay, I just tighten these screws down just a little bit. Just a hair loose from all the wiggling that's been going on. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take the white wires. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the ground wires, just to rearrange them, get the black ones out of the way. I know the white wire is going to have to come out on the left hand side of the plug. So I'll just, because the ground wire is down at the bottom left, I'll make the white wires are going to go the top left, okay? I want to relocate those off over to the left. So when I push them back in there, they're not going to overlap the black ones, okay? So you just kind of look back in here and do what you got to do to get those back in, all right? Okay, so now I know that one's over there. Make sure you get the white wires, not the painted black ones. Okay, so now the black wire's all up there, the white wire's all over here. Okay, now what? We got three wires here. We can't connect three wires like that to two screws on this plug. It's just not going to work. Now, there's holes on the back, but I don't want to put one on the back, two on the side. I'm going to have too many wires coming out here, then I'm going to have to squiggly all of them in there. That's going to be kind of tricky in itself, okay? So, what to do? Well, here's what we're going to do with that. I'm going to take these three wires and I'm going to make one. How am I going to do that? You remember, I had some little extra pieces that I cut off the full length ones. You like to save these, okay? I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these back. I'm going to take this and bend it. I'm going to hold it right in here like that. I'm going to put a wire net on there. Then I'm only going to have one wire, this wire here, coming out of the box. And I want to cut these back far enough so I can bend them back in. I, want to, I don't want them out this far and then have to triple bend them and fit them back in there. I won't have enough room for my, my outlet, will I? Okay, the well, first thing I gotta do is I'm just gonna cut these back. I don't wanna get them too close to the wall, but I want them far enough out here so in case anybody's working on this box again in the future, they can pull these wires out and uh, do something with them, okay? All right, so I want these all about the same length. Like that, I can hold them up there. And that looks that looks really good. Okay. Now I need to strip those back. Just going to take our wire strippers and strip this back. And there's different little numbers on here. You want the corresponding one. You'll figure it out. Um, I'm looking for the number 12 on here, and I know exactly which hole that is. I'm first going to do that. I want these all about lined up about the same. Now these I don't want sticking out uh, an inch because I'm going to need to put a wire nut on those. Okay? And I don't want the back side sticking out beyond the wire nut. Okay, so those look pretty good. Maybe a half inch or, or so sticking out. Let's see what it is. Half inch, maybe. And this one looks short half. And there's not a, you know, do I measure all this stuff all the time? I mean, once in a while I do, because I don't do this every day, you know. But I, the good thing is, I know how to do it. So, because of that, you will too. Okay, so I got this length here. I'm going to strip the end of that off. About the same as those. I can kind of look at that and line that up. Now I'm going to bend that like that. Okay. Now I can hold those all together in one hand. And take a wire nut 
and clamp that down with a wire nut. You want these all to fit in there nice, and if they don't, you may have to readjust the wires a little bit. And I'm using red wire nut here because I've got, this is 12 gauge wire, and the wire is pretty stout. And uh, last thing you want is to use a too small of a wire nut. This tip is not perfectly straight, so you know what? That one probably needs to go back just a hair, like that. Now, if this was 14 gauge wire, I might be able to get by with a yellow wire nut. Yellow wire nut's smaller. Okay, so I got a red. I want to put a red on there and hope that I get them all here. There we go. And an interesting thing with this particular red wire nut, you don't see any ears on it. Now some of them have ears that you can really crank down with your finger and your thumb. This one doesn't have one. So I'm going to take a pair of pliers. I'm just going to spin this a couple times. Some people frown on this. But, you know, it's not like I'm going to break it. Um, I don't really think I'm going to over tighten it. I just want to get it on there a little bit tighter. Okay, that's tight. You want to pull on all these. Make sure everything is tight because sometimes you might think it's tight. You pull on one and it pops right off. Okay. And actually, because it doesn't have ears, it won't take up as much room in the box, will it? Now, I'm ready to push that back in the wall. Okay, I have to bend this down in there. And let's see how we're gonna do this. I may, might have to tr double it. Okay, a little short one here, like that. Now I'm going to roll that up again. Get my finger back in there. And roll that up again. Okay, like that. And then I get the white wire out there like that. Okay, there we go. See? That's why you've got to get it back in there and do it properly because there's a right and wrong way to kind of fill up the box. You don't want to get the box so full that you can't get this plug in. Because see how thick this is? You can't have anything in the way for that to get back in there or else we're in deep doo-doo. Huh. No other way to say that. Alright. So now I got the white wire in the top left, the ground wire in the bottom left. And the black wires, now we got to do the same thing with the black wires because I'll just have one wire coming out because I got three wires and um, I'm going to have just one coming out, just like the white. 